stubbornness and to what I'm experiencing without being there, what would you say, hey, you gotta try this, and you gotta try this, and if it doesn't budge, yeah. At that point, I'm probably looking at, you know, like you say, try the different things, but go up to a, like a car buffer with a white abrasive pad and your chemicals, or even I've seen some guys use some of those right angle grinders to get a little more uh, power behind them. But even if it's really bad like that, you may be talking about restoring the surface and you need a buffer, a polisher, and you know, scrubbing compounds, <coughs> cerium oxide, and, and things like that. So, Which is, I, I, I've never done any of that, but I can only assume you're talking about five times the cost of just a standard window cleaner. Probably at least. But you have to remember, when you're, when you're at that point, again, we're, not, we're no longer, with hard water stains, we're not cleaning the window. We're restoring the window. If we don't fix it, they have to replace it if they want any kind of clarity out of that window. So you have to figure what, whatever it's going to, you know, you can charge probably half what it's going to cost to replace that window, and it's going to be a great savings for them, and again, it's going to be, you know, worth your while. But at some point, you just have to say, well, this is just too much. I'm going to have to walk away from it. That's the other thing, knowing when to just say, I, I can't help these. You're just going to have to replace it. Of course, not cost effective to have me on the job that long. Okay. Any other questions? Discussions? Are you looking for a full try? Is that what that's your question? Yeah, I'd like one or uh, two more suggestions before I get to something as intense as a buffer. I, I don't. I don't want the job if it's manually buffing four stories of glass. Have you tried safer store? No, that's what you know. Uh, that was recommended to me as well. That's yeah, I was talking about safer store. That doesn't really go up to the CC fifty. Do you know what the scene is coming from? The sprinklers that are coming down from the mason work. Uh, some sprinklers, but also two and a half years of no window cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. So once it's cleared up and you do get it cleared up, you may want to recommend for them sealing. Chris, we're leading to the next point. <laughs> See, it's sealing the window when we're done with it, because, like Chris says, a lot of times it's sprinklers. You know, and, and instead of, you know, uh, I've had customers where they rent the space, and the management company doesn't want to have somebody come out and adjust the sprinkler, but it's trash in the windows. So you can usually sell to them, you know, sealing whatever windows those sprinklers are hitting, and then, you know, that'll last you for a few months, depending on how often you clean that window and what product. You Again, you can use products that will seal it for three months, six months, <coughs> 12 months. It just depends on how much the customer wants to spend on it. I don't, I don't know if this is the right time to ask this question, so it can lend itself late in the program, but I'm curious about how you price out that type of service. In other words, you've, you've, uh, I've got that exact scenario, actually, so I know how much to charge for standard window cleaning, and that's been fine, but you know, this extra work, I need to go back to the guy and say, hey, since you're trying to fix the sprinkler system, and adjust according to how difficult or level of difficulty on each pane of glass. And then when you're figuring up the bid, you can say, okay, it's going to be this much extra to do this, this, or that. And we're not going to set prices. We're going to tell you how much to charge. But whatever you're comfortable with, your window price, adjust it accordingly on a factor scale to you know, whether you're doing restoration, hard water stain removal, you know, working off a lift, in a chair, whatever it is. But yeah, like Chris said and Mike said, uh, Safer Store would be good. Uh, there's some new products that IWCA uh, trade show this last year, uh, Presto Restoration Products came out with some, uh, a couple different things where they use a small buffer uh, and a couple little chemicals to buff out the glass. So you can look for those as well. Are they on the, I don't know if they're on the site yet. So a couple different things. I've, I've even heard, you know, there's, um, uh, uh, hard water powder out there, which is basically, if you go to a pool supply store, uh, you can get a compound called diatomaceous earth, or DE, and it's a white powder. It looks a lot like another product on the market. Uh, so if you can get that and it makes a little paste, and you can scrub that in too. It's a little, it's a little slightly aggressive, but it won't damage the window. So, so 
try that too. But again, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. Uh, but if you get a white pad, put it on a palm sander, that'll, that'll help a lot. With the, not so much elbow grease behind it that way. So any other questions before we move on? And like I said, we can talk about it later too, later after after lunch we'll have round table discussion. So any, anything else you want to talk about? Out there. So we talked about the different levels of corrosion, stage two. Once we get to stage two, then we've got to break out a different kind of system because nothing's going to get that off except a scratch removal system. So on our next session, we're going to have a scratch removal demonstration.